Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe and I'm here with another tutorial on a look that I already did on Instagram. It's kind of like cat eye with a bold deep red lip and let's get crackalacking. So first thing I'm going to do is fill my waterline. I'm going to go into the Bitter Start from my Zoeva Cocoa Blend Palette. Fill my waterline with eyeshadow. My favorite way to do it is to take a Q-tip, fill it in. You can use a light colored eyeshadow if you want, but and I'm also going to carry it into the inner corner. Next, I'm going to take some of the color Sweeter End, and I'm going to highlight the inner tear ducts of my eyes. I'm going to go in with Pure Ganache here, this gold color, and I'm going to highlight the outer corner of my eye. I'm going to go over with that matte white color we did a second ago bitter start and I'm going to go over that color just as a nice little highlight next with my Melt Cosmetics Dark Matter Stack I'm going to go in to the color Unseen and I'm just going to warm up my crease a bit and I'm going to take a bit and go right at the top of the bridge of my nose here I like this because it's like super quick but it has like a good Impact. I'm going to go on with the color Blur from the Dark Matter stack and just highlight my lid for making your eyes look really big and open. I'm going to put it into the inner corners of my eyes as well. Next, with my Smith 202 brush and the Dark Matter color from the Dark Matter stack. And I'm going to fill in that lower tear duct. And I'm not bringing it all the way through because we just highlighted that area. I'm going to drag it out to a little bit of a point. Or a lot of bit of a point, let's keep it real here. Like that, and drag it to the upper lid as well. And I'm keeping it just on the inner parts. And that's about it. And you can pull that wing out as far as you wanna. Same thing on this side, just filling in that inner port part. You don't have to be super duper careful. Whoa, maybe you do got too comfortable and just dragging it in to fill it and then pulling out that inner wing then with the same color same brush the 202 I'm going to draw a wing and this I just want it to be nice and delicate but really far out so I'm just drawing myself a little wing and then connecting it to my lash line but I'm actually not going to draw a line on my eyelid. I don't want to bring it all the way across. I just want it on that outer part. That way my lashes kind of look more separated and a little bit longer because the eyeliner is not closing my eyes up. And I like this because it's a little softer than an actual eyeliner. Same thing on this side. Just going for it. And connecting it to my lashes but not actually carrying the color all the way through. This is the In Extreme Dimension from MAC in 3D Black so the black is black. And some on the bottom. I've got the uh, Velour Lashes uh, in T.O. And I'm going to put those on on the farthest edge of my eye. So just drop them down. Because they kind of wisp out, I like that they kind of are thinner towards the inner corner and thicker towards the edge. I've got the NYX um, Cherry Skies Liquid Suede. And I'm just going to put that all over my lips, basically. I'm going to go in with a Vino Pencil to smooth it out. Towards the center. I'm holding my um, pencil on a, on a slant so that... If I jiggle, I can just pull it into my lip where there's already color other than on my face. I like to first do it with my lips kind of relaxed. Once I see how my lips are going to be, I go in and smooth out those little edges. And then just color it in. And look at that, that was super quick and you're all done so. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and follow. And love yourself and stay pretty. And I'll see you guys again very soon.